Part two of the title matches here from South Plains in Lubbock. Morgan Ellis taking on Kayla Darling. Morgan's got a win by 48, and she leads right now by 59, so she's in really good shape. Oh, man. Finds a way to convert that cluster to maintain that lead. Kayla's going to have to spare the seventh and it's the ground. Nine-year-old, by the way. Finishing no worse than second. Mason Edmondson and Zach Wojciechowski playing each other in the scratch title match, and it's a high-level bowling over there as the pattern has been tough all day long. But right now, Zach is leading by 10 pins. Kayla can't quite get that ball over the seventh pin. She's only nine years old. She's bowled about 57 games today, so I'm sure she's getting a little tired, but she's right on her average already. But Morgan way over her average right now to give her that lead. Mason can close it to a dead even match. If he can strike in his eighth round, he's going to let Kayla go first. Good turnout here on Easter Egg Sunday. Zach won the whoops. Zach won the uh, bowling ball, the bonus bowling ball that we gave out for those Easter eggs. Oh, nice shot from Kayla, but five pin stands. It was light bowling balls. You never know what going to do. All she's got to do is hit the head pin and hope for the best. She's pretty much done that this game. Just hasn't gotten a lot of great results. And that one came in way behind the head pin for Mason there. Everybody else would have uh, 379 and said he only leaves three, so that's another benefit to all that power, but he'll trail by 11 if he spares up that three pin. Kayla's gonna give this five pin a shot. She hits her ankle, that's good news. Oh, but just slides by the five. It's a 103 scratch effort for her. Gives her 197. Mason does spare that up. Morgan's got 151. Morgan's got exactly 197 now. Morgan needs one pin on two balls. I think she's not going to get it. <laughs> no, I don't. I think she already got it right there. There's a winner right there. Morgan. Big shot for Zach Spurling in the eighth. He's got it. So nine-year-old Kayla is going to finish second out of all those folks. That's her best ever finish. Morgan's going to add a second title to her collection. Goal! Soccer ball. Goal! <laughs> Stupid, really. Another big shot for Zach over there. Oh. Oh, no. And a dramatic misfire for Zach there in the ninth frame. His crowd saying get one, and that's exactly right. Count can definitely come into play in this match. Unless you're Lacey, you're not going to make this 4-6. She made it earlier today. So very smart to get that pin there. Great job, Morgan. Stick around. So focus here on our stretch division finish. That gives Zach 196 through 9. A theoretical one pin lead for Mason shooting in the ninth, spare working. It's wide again. Oh, did I jinx him into that or what? Last time I said he broke up the 379 because of all that power. This time he leaves the 379. Trying to win back to back titles on the weekend, given a Christmas present from Zach, and instead he's going to open right back. Also important for him to get these two pins a count here. So he doesn't get the two, the count becomes totally ir irrelevant. Does get those. So he'll trail by 13, both bowlers on opens heading into the 10th. He can strike out for 213. If he does that, he would force Zach to fill 18 pins in the 10th. Playing a guy who's never won a tournament before, just making a mark can sometimes be an awful lot of pressure. He'll have to double to make that happen, though. No, oh, he doesn't like it at all. Oh, dear. Back to back, three, seven, nines to finish it off. Going to hand Zach his first JBT title in his home city. A long journey. I don't know where Grandpa is today. Where is uh oh, we are never gonna see Zach's grandpa again. Grandpa Zach, it was nice knowing you. We're never gonna see you again because we found a way to win. Frustrating finish there for Mason, but first and second on the weekend ain't so bad. And it is a 
pressure free 10th frame for a brand new JBT champ. Griffin the four doesn't matter, he'll be in the two teams with the spare. It's a win for Wojciechowski Shavakowski by the Kavasawa Kibitz. I'm gonna give the plaque lady this name and she's gonna email me back and saying no. <laughs> As if. <laughs> so in this division we got Wojciech Fabrizio winning a title. We got Elizabeth who spells her name with threes. It's a very confusing division spelling wise. <laughs> 215 and a title for Zach. There's a winner. We'll hand out the awards and we'll do it all over again in California next week. Congrats to everybody.